Well, the moment is finally here, and this is something we've all been waiting on. But the only question was, who is going to be the first to make it happen? And in this case, it's Midjourney. But regardless of what tool you use, this news is fantastic for everybody. Because all the other apps like Leonardo AI or even Dali, I'm sure will soon follow suit in order to have their own variations of what I'm about to show you today. What we're exploring is the new feature in Midjourney. And this new feature is the ability to finally create consistent characters. Watch how you can create me in many different styles while maintaining consistency. You can now generate images with consistent faces, hairstyles, eyes, and even clothing across multiple styles and scenes. And all of this is done with Midjourney's new feature. All you have to do is choose a character, upload an image, or just generate one. Then copy the image URL of your character's image, write a prompt, and now tell Midjourney that you want to use your character by using the dash dash cref command. Then you'll just enter the image URL directly after that. Modify the strength from 0 to 100 by using the dash dash CW command. Now, if this seems like a lot to absorb right now, don't worry, because today we're going to go through this step by step. That way, when you're done watching this video, you're going to be able to have a complete understanding creating your own consistent characters. Now, quick important note. Now, this new feature actually works best when you're using images that were actually created in Midjourney. So here's the first thing we're going to do to start. Let's first either look for or create a good photorealistic image of a person. An image we want to create our consistent character off of. And for that, there's a couple of good things that you can do. There's two things. So the first thing you could do is you could always go into Midjourney itself, go to Discord or Alpha Midjourney if you have access to that, and then just simply create your image that you want to use. Try to come up with a prompt and then use that image for your character consistency. Make sure to check the links in the description for tons of resources and hundreds of prompts to try. The other thing you can do is go to your mid-journey database like I'm looking at right now. And then from here, you can view all of your images. So what I like to do is notice in the top right hand corner, I first like to on the right hand side, make sure I have my upscales selected. That way it's going to show every single image that I've upscaled in mid journey or in discord. So what I'll do here is up in the top right hand corner in this search bar, I'll just start by simply typing in woman. Okay. Now, once I have it typed in, what this is going to do is allow me to see every single prompt that's been upscaled and it has the word woman in my prompt. So now that that's the case, now I can scroll through all of my images that were created in mid journey and then select one. I want to create a consistent character off of. So this is where you're going to want to make sure you pay special attention because in this video, I'm going to show you not only how to create a consistent character, but I'm also going to show you the very important parameters that you're going to want to use. And not only that, I'll actually show you how to make this character appear across the board for any environment, style of clothing, or any prompt that you want to use moving forward. So that's two things we're going to do. I have this option right here going through all of my mid journey files. Then I can also come over here to my mega prompts database. Now this is going to be the portion called AI art styles. It's a tab up here at the top. What this actually does is this contains a ton of unique keywords and then even artists. So if I click on this one right here that says Peter Lick, okay, if I expand it, I could see that utilizing this artistic style or this artist's name, I'm going to get an image that looks very similar similar to this one with the same characteristics. Here. But we also have a ton of unique keywords that we'll try later on in the video. So back over here in my images, I think it's smart to try this very quickly with two models. So let's say for an example, I want to use this image right here. I want to use this person and I want to have her face appear consistent across any image. Now there's two ways to do it. I like this way over here in midjourney.com because like I said, it's going to have all my images here. If I click on the image, the first thing you need to do is get the images URL and you could do that by clicking up here in the top right hand corner, these three lines, click it. Now select this copy. Once you select copy on the left hand side, you'll notice you want to copy the image URL. Now click this. Once that's done, my image URL has now been copied to my clipboard. Now what you want to do is now go back over here to discord. So you can see here, here is the image. Here's the person's face. I want to duplicate. Now from here, all you have to do is simply now enter in a new prompt. Okay. You're going to start the process by still utilizing the imagine command. And then from there, you're simply going to just type in your prompt at first. Okay. A woman at the beach, Bora Bora. Simple. That 
way it's going to transform the environment into a beach atmosphere. Now, here is the most important part. At the very end of your prompt down here, you're going to want to add these two dashes, dash, dash, and then you want to enter CREF, C-R-E-F. That is basically starting the process to tell Midjourney we have a consistent character coming up. Make sure that you create your image based off of this next URL we're about to paste. So right after you type in the command of CREF, now simply paste the URL of the image we just copied. Remember, it's this one right here, okay? We use this URL, we're gonna go back. That's the URL that I'm pasting down here in my prompt box in Discord. Now, the next thing you wanna keep in mind from here, this is where you can change your dimensions and you can make it like uh, aspect ratio 16 colon nine. However, we're not gonna do that quite yet. The next thing we're gonna do is add one more command, okay? Dash dash CW. Now, here is why this is so important. What this command CW actually does is that CW is gonna actually modify the strength of your image. So you have a scale from zero to 100. CW 100 will be the default command Midjourney uses. Now, if you wanna bring the CW down to zero, what that's gonna do is it makes it just primarily focus on the face. Now that's gonna be good for simply just changing outfits, hair, etc. So that's important to keep in mind. Okay, so down here on this one, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna do CW 100, okay? Then when this is done generating, then I'll do one at zero just to show you guys the difference. But while we're waiting on that, let's go ahead back over to Midjourney and then choose one more model we wanna do the same thing for, okay? So let's go back into my files over here and then pick out somebody else. So as I scroll down, I saw somebody I wanted to recreate earlier. I have this model right here. Again, three lines, copy, and then copy the image URL. While that one's thinking, let's go back over to the first one we did and then see how this turned out. Here is the image, right? That's the first character right there. Now, right above it, check this out right here. There we go, okay? And so it did a pretty good job. Now, check this one out right here. I'm very happy with this option right here. Remember, here is our image, okay? So here is this lady here. She's at the beach and it has that kind of defocused background. Very good looking image. Go back over to Discord and now look at the creations we have right here. This did a perfect 100% job. All of these images look good, but if I had to choose one, I would probably choose one through three. Number four looks a little bit disoriented with the way her head's turned. So let's go ahead and upscale those first three ones. And then here we go right here. Here is this one. There is that one. And then here is the other one like this. So I really like the way that these turned out. Okay. These did a fantastic job. All I did was give it a very simple prompt. On the right-hand side, I just said a woman wearing Lululemon fitness clothes standing in the gym. And you could see over here very closely, right below the prompt, it shows me the actual image that I use a character consistency from. Now okay. let's start taking things a lot further. Now I'm gonna show you a series of prompts where we're gonna utilize the same exact image and URL. I'm gonna show you different levels of the CW from zero all the way to 100. Okay, now check out how awesome this is. I have a completely different style of scene now to go off of, okay? Now let's check these out. So over here on the right-hand side, here are the images of this same consistent model. Now now, let me expand this one right here. Completely different prompt. This one, I put just a woman in the Swiss Alps. Look at that. Same exact face, consistent across the board, okay? I can go up and go to one more. Same sort of thing. Then you can see this one over here, same exact thing. So over here, I did a series of different CWs, everything from 25, 50 to 100. And now right here, this is where things start to get very exciting. So on the right-hand side, I said, cyberpunk woman in the futuristic world. There is my cref command, my URL, and then I did a CW. W25. Okay, now look at this one right here. Now, this is where that CW can come into play. So, same exact woman right here. I put a woman in a dystopian world, and then I put purple hair, wide angle cinematic. If I take a closer look, you can notice that it's still the same exact woman. It kept her face consistent. The face is still looking the same. And then when I utilized a lower CW, I did dash dash CW10, leave the face the same, except I want to change her hair color to purple. Another thing will do in another video is that you could also use this powerful effect by using the in painting option. That's where we're going to be able to actually change the facial expressions without losing that character consistency. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and then wrap this up by looking at this final image right here. Woman in a dystopian world. I did Cref with my URL and this time I used CW100 and I changed the aspect ratio up. Now look at this right here. 
Since I used 100, that means I 100% wanted to focus on the characteristics of this image right here, making sure that I would not lose any important consistency. So a high character rate or a high CW rate, the higher it is, is the higher assurance that you will not lose any character consistency. And so that's what we have right here with this image. This looks phenomenal, all off of this same exact image right here. So there you have it. There is Midjourney's newest and latest tool to create character consistency, something we've all been wanting for a very long time. And I hope this is only the beginning for not only this app, but other apps to follow. And as they improve, these tools are only going to get better and better. But tell me what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up and turn it back.